Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. You can say hello to your classmates, remember? Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. Where are you, Wendy? It's all it's dark. Okay, you're so quiet tonight. I don't know why, but it's okay. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Oh, they're, oh, they're in traffic. They're in traffic right now. Okay, coming from work. In my church. A church. Okay. I coming from San Vicente. Wow. That's pretty far. First, I need to uh, arrive. I need to arrive. arrive? What? I need to arrive to church. The um, church. Galerias. Or galerias. And okay. Later, take my car <laughs> and go to my home. And go home. Okay. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Good evening. We're doing great, I guess. Okay, very good. How about you? Uh, kind of tired. There are a lot of works today there's a lot of work yes but of work. but it's okay or a lot of work or much work there is much work there is a lot of work you cannot count work um let's practice that just for a little bit we're missing a few minutes, okay. Um, can you give me examples of uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns, things that you cannot count. Water. Water, okay. Money. Sugar. Money, sugar, okay. Bird. Sorry, what? Soil. Soil, yeah, that's right. What else? Rice. <laughs> Rice. Okay. So in other words, uh, things made of small particles, right? Things made of small particles. Beans, rice, sand, right? Atoms or atoms? Atoms. 
Atoms, uh, I don't know if atoms can be counted, but uh, what about the air? Air. Air. Water. Coffee. Just, uh, coffee, yeah, liquids. So uh, all liquids, all gases, um, untangible, untangible things. And you can call those as well, um, what's the name? Figures, figures. There are figures like yeah. love, ideas, um, eight feelings. You cannot count your feelings. I, I love you 100. I love you 3 million, right? <laughs> okay, nobody got it, okay. End game. I feel that in, a, in, a, in Iron Man. I, I yeah, remember. end game. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, Marvel and the game. Okay, so yeah, so things that you cannot count, you use the verb to be in singular. You treat them like singular. So how do you say el dinero es importante? The money is... <clears throat> oh. Money is important. Money is important? Uh, uh, yeah, Jorge failed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, when you, when you generalize, don't use the uh, I used to be the article always I I don't know why but yeah just think about it if you're generalizing don't add the but I think that problem I have because I most of the time I think in, in Spanish and try to translate the, the sentence perfect but well then that's the way it goes that's the way, it's just a, a stage on your learning curve and that's okay. Information, knowledge, okay. Mm. Let's see. Es mucha información. Es mucha información. Too much information. Mm. Many? Mm -hmm. No, because much mm. uncountables. Many? A lot of, a lot of information? Is, it's okay. Now, my point is how do you use Many the verb to be? A lot of information, Christia? Yes, but what comes first? It is a lot of information. This, this exactly. is a lot of. This is a lot of information. Yeah, it is, or it's a lot of information. It is. It don't, is for, information. don't forget the subject because most people say, oh, it's a lot of information. No, it is. It is. Or it's, it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Let me do the attendance so we can start with the class. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Cristian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez. She's there. Diana. Oh, no, she said, don't worry, don't worry. She said it. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here. Excellent. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Your microphone, Manuel. Oh, yeah. Sorry, teacher. Present. <laughs> Thank you. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Okay, Mario Jose. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson Rene Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Okay. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. 
teacher. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. So tonight we're going to start with a little review of uh, the grammar topic. Give me just a minute. So I can start the presentation. So last topic we said we saw was both and both and we kind of started but not in the so let's see i need your help reading but let me clear the screen for you because you may not see this very well there you go so i need your help reading uh, a volunteer me teacher okay go ahead both 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 is paired with and I'll emphasize to two coordinated elements in a sentence. Both is a focusing adverb and is a coordinator, coordinator. Together, they are a correlative conjunction. Note, the word conjunction is reserved for addition, not a connective word. See and or but and connector overview. Okay, I'll say, uh, yes, I'm sorry. I forgot to delete that part. So, thank you. Together, they are a correlative conjunction. Note, note the word conjunction is reserved for addition, not mm -hmm. a connective word. So, conjunction is, is, is doesn't mean connection specifically okay it's just to relate things um Christia? yeah you yes. had your your hand was raised so go ahead noun phrases okay, okay. noun phrases uh, both the movie and the play were good put our bird form i like both the movie and the play you got it so thank you thank you so here, noun phrases, by noun phrases, believe it or not, they are referring to a noun with something extra. Just think about it as a noun phrase. It means a noun with something extra. It could be an article most part of the time. It could be an adverb like much, right, etc. So both the movie and the play were good. Now you can start with a verb as well. I liked both the movie and the play. What did you like? Uh, both the movie and the play. Okay, we're good. Simple. Okay, so far so good? Good. Okay, yes. move on. Modifiers, Susanna. Modifier. The actors uh, were but a guy again. Repeat, engaging. Engaging and skillful in their performance. Now, this is in plural, in their performances. In these performances. Okay. Just... One more time, Susana. Engaging. 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 Ajá, me está haciendo una N acá. Uh, engaging. Engaging. Better. Engaging. engaging. Performance. Performances. 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 There you go. Okay. Next sentence, Jorge. Uh, the plot moved both swiftly and artfully. Throughout the movie. <laughs> Close. Very good. Repeat with me. Throughout. 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 Let's, let's kill the T at the end. Throughout the movie. Throughout the movie. Throughout the movie. Throughout the movie. You got it. You got it. The plot moved both swiftly and artfully throughout the movie. Okay. So in this case, we're using an adjective. Okay, where's the adjective? Can somebody help me? Uh, 
Engaging. Where are you? Engaging and skillful. and skillful. Excellent. Very good. The actors were both engaging, which is an adjective, and skillful. What about adverbs? To wrote? No. Mm, no. Second. Where? Where? Move. No. No. Stop guessing, Xavier Francisco. Xavier Francisco, stop guessing. That's my then my son's name. My son is on fifth grade. And I tell him, right? Hey, seven times two. This was this afternoon. Siete por dos, seven times two. And he goes like, uh, uh 13. I'm like, no, stop guessing, right? 12, no, stop guessing. Okay, 11, no. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. Swiftly and artfully. How do you differentiate between an adjective and an adverb? What is the difference? You can tell by the structure. In case you didn't know, it's just a matter of paying attention. So swift, swift is an adjective, right? Yes. If, then you add L-Y and you're saying mente in English. So this ending gives that mente to the adjective. Who can tell me what's the meaning of swiftly? Come on, Google Translate. Quickly. What is the meaning of swift? swift? Like quickly. Like quickly? Okay. What if you add L-Y then? Then you, you say quick, quickly, right? Okay. <laughs> no Spanish, I got you, okay. Swift, swiftly. Art, artfully. Without looking on, on Google Translate, what's the meaning of artfully? like full of art like beautiful something like that oh, okay so what is the adjective here what's the adjective on that adverb art 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 hmm you sure artful artful that is correct artful is the adjective when somebody's full of art on their thoughts, let's say. Um, a synonym could be clever. Clever, I like clever. So if you add L-Y, ingenioso becomes ingeniosamente. Okay. Next, uh, Nelson, the movie. The movie is being shown both at the Fox Theater and the Neighborhood Theaters. Excellent. The movie is being shown. Repeat, shown. Shown. Excellent. Number two, say theater. 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 Dream theater. Exactly. Neighborhood. Theaters. Theaters. Neighborhood theaters. Theaters. So in other words, to use both and this uh, pair conjunction, you can use modifiers, verbs, noun phrases, okay? And infinitives and gerunds. I hope you're getting that. Prepositional phrase. Mine is prepositional noun phrase, I will say. Okay, prepositional noun phrase. Okay, verbs. Let's see, Juan Carlos, are, are you there? Yes. Okay, help me. Ever both likes and recommends the movie. Ever both likes and recommends the movie. It sounds weird, right? It sounds weird, but that's the way it goes. Um, Ever both likes and recommends the movie. Can I say 
ever likes and recommends the movie? No. Grammatically speaking, no. Okay. Uh, but being very colloquial, colloquial, yes, you can do it. Okay, so this is what we saw yesterday using verbs, most of all. Let's go with the last one, infinitives and gerunds. Infinitives and gerunds. Mario Villeda. The last one. Yep. The directors want Warren Ball to win and receive recognition for their work. Good, very good. One more time. The directors wanted both to win and to receive recognition for their work. Now, be careful. In this case, they are not referring to both directors. Okay? The directors wanted both. Okay? If the verb comes before both, then it is uh, using per conjunctions. If both comes before wanted, then they are referring to the directors. The directors both wanted to win. Is it, did that make sense? Yes. Yeah, you did get it, Nelson? Okay. Yes. Carlos, did you get it? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Last one, the last sentence. Diana, no, Diana is hitting. Never mind, never mind. Keep going, keep going. Chill, chill, chill. Wendy, good evening. Sorry, teacher. I walk, go I'm, to my house. I'm walking home. I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking home. I'm walking. Home. <laughs> home okay i'm walking home hey don't forget when you say home don't don't add uh possessives before home or nothing i mean when you say home is like a proper noun in case you didn't know you can say i'm walking to the house i'm walking to my house i'm walking to the Dan, diana's house I'm walking to diana's house i'm walking home my home I'm huh? walking home. I'm walking okay. home. Porque solo hay un home. hogar. Solo hay un hogar. Entonces traten la palabra home como un nombre propio, ¿ok? Y los nombres propios, por supuesto, no llevan artículo. La Diana. Eh, eh. No, don't say that. El Brian. La Karina. No, please. Don't do that. So, moving on. Questions? No. No? Hmm. Okay, good. We will do something different this time. We're going to use this, both and, both and, both and, both and. And you're going to go in small groups, very small groups to work and prepare five sentences using both and, both and. That's your homework right now. So I'm going to split you so you can work together in small groups. There you have on WhatsApp what we just had on the screen. Okay. ¿Todos entendieron lo que vamos a hacer o espero lo típico en los classrooms? ¿Qué dijo que diéramos vos? Five sentences using both. Uh -huh, both and. And. That's right. Simple. Las mismas cinco para todos. I just want to make sure we all understand. Okay, so let's go. It's just three groups. There's like four people in each group. So don't stay here. Just, oh, well, um, who was driving? Marilena was driving. So just, she's the only exception, I think. So let's go. Let's go. Five sentences.
a few minutes each other. We can use noun phrases, modifiers, verbs, or infinity. Uh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We can. Who want to start? Uh, I can. Anybody. I can do it. Right. Very good. And you can be both a student and an employee at the same time. Um, I don't know. Uh, I I ask a question. Oh, I ask. Uh, may I? write your sentences, your sentence or um, I used to, I used to write, I like, uh, can you repeat uh, your sentence, please? I will send it to the chat. Okay. Okay, who's next? Me, for example, um, both the the car and bus are very necessary to transport. Okay. This is my my sentence. Both the car and the bus are very important to transport. For transporting, for moving, for for, tra for transporting. Mm -hmm. For so that sounds better. Yes. Did you finish? Yes, I put my my work. Are you done? Yeah. I I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you say it. Are you done? Done. Are you done? Not done. <laughs> done. <laughs> Be careful with that word. Good. <laughs>
you may share your examples with your classmates. Don't forget, you have to talk, 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 talk. I can make both pupusas and pizza. Yummy. <laughs> Um, I ra I wrote. I like both read and watching movies on my free times. But I prefer watching movies. <laughs> on my free time. Yes. Uh, you said times. Uh, free time. Mm -hmm. And this is um spare time. You can also say spare time. Okay. Pizza and Pedro like pizza. Both visit the same place and order the same food. Silvia, it's gone. <laughs> Teacher Esper is like this. I think so, yeah. Isn't it? Okay. Maybe it goes together. I don't know. I forgot. No, that's the way it goes. It's spare time. Okay. So, and you can say spare tire too, to say gente de reflexión, spare tire. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks. Is to, to compare to 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 bear no to um I don't know if it's necessary to compare um but I I just I just put uh, two different words mm -hmm. but the the structure is always in the same way uh, both something and and something. Mm -hmm. or, or not necessary. Uh, the teacher is here. He can help <laughs> us. <laughs> Could you please, teacher, clear mm -hmm. that? Yeah, but I'm trying to understand what's the doubt. Uh, we we made some examples, but uh, we know we don't uh, have sure. We we are not sure. Mm -hmm. We are not sure about the if, if the sentence is correct. For example, I dislike both Lakers and Suns. That's good. I dislike both Lakers and Suns. The other one, Christia. Christia? Uh, yes, I, I have one, but I'm not sure. Uh, my sentence is, in my company, we have both shift, Bravo and Charlie. Both both shifts? Yes. Like schedules? Uh, like, um, no, no schedules. Uh, it's to like 7 a.m. To, to 5, and the other shift is to 5 to... Midnight from from midnight? from two. So from seven a.m. to five p.m. To seven a.m. Uh, uh, again, again from from seven a.m. to two? five mm -hmm. five p.m. So I work from five a.m. to twelve thirty p.m. I from two from two. Okay. You got it. You got it. Keep going. Uh, but um, I'm not saying in my sentence uh, the hours of the shift. Just say 
the names of the shift. It's okay. Okay. In my company, we have both shift, Bravo and Charlie. I don't know, it's okay. Now, now in this case, and by the way, you say shift. 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 Uh-huh, ahora, primero, shh. Shift. Shift. Perfect. Shift. shift. Ah, you, you did it again. You say shift. Uh, chi, chi, chi. No. She. Shift. 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 <laughs> Do that sound at the end. Shifts. Shift. Now you're shift. missing. There you go. Shift. Shift. Okay. Good. Good. That's the way you correct some words. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Just missing one person here. Okay, more examples. Uh, the world needs both water and soil. And uh, the world, the world needs both water and air. True, okay. You're not sure, really? <laughs> I, I have another one. I, I enjoy but a run and swim. Uh, come again, I know both, run and swim. Yes. I have, I have other, um, <laughs> I didn't send both the email and the message. The teacher hasn't <laughs> like convinced. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember the, the correct word. <laughs> to say what again? The teacher uh, hasn't. The teacher had the teacher doesn't look like uh pretty convinced. Oh, oh very, very convinced. Doesn't okay. the teacher doesn't look like very convinced? Good job. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. Anyhow, anyhow, we will share these examples in, in Teams really quick. <laughs> we're about to, we're about to. Uh, other could be I don't like to to have in my house both cats and dogs. Yep. I try. Uh, I care. I care both. Uh, mother and father help. Again, or, I, I, or, or I care help both mother and father. You're missing the ing. I care. 
I care about helping both. I care about I, helping both. I care about helping both. Helping. Yep, like that. I helping. Care helping about both. helping both my mother and my, my father. My mother and my father. Mm -hmm. okay. I care about helping both my mother and my father. I, I have okay. another one similar. Yeah. Maybe. Another similar, uh, similar both. one. Both mom and dad take care of me. Simple. You got it. Both my mom and dad take care of me. Okay. You got it. Let's go back. Okay, I'm just waiting. Give me just a minute. I'm missing Juan Carlos, Manuel, Susana, and Maria Elena. Uh oh. You Juan, Carlos, Juan Carlos, Susana, and Maria Elena. 10, 9, 8. Uh oh. <laughs> 3, 2, 1. So, Juan Carlos, Susana, and Maria Elena. Okay. Good, let's start with the men first, okay? Juan Carlos, give us the best example you heard in your group. Juan Carlos, what's the best example of both and? Okay, uh, in my, my group, uh, could it be Robert both? edits and records the film. Mm. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but I'm thinking that it should be the opposite. Rubber both records and edits. Exacto. The what? The, the film. film. The, the film. film. The film. Rubber both records and edits the films. That's so correct. Rubber both records. Record. Oh, be careful with this. Some words, just by the pronunciation, they change the meaning. In this case, there are two different pronunciations for this word. Okay. Uh, what's your record? Where is your record? Um, in your job, you know, where are your records, your records, the files that you store about uh, an employee, about an employee, that's the records, the records, I'm sorry, the records, the records, hold on. Yeah, the records. Um, another example could be what's the what's your favorite world Guinness record? What's your favorite world Guinness record? That could be another example. Now, the next pronunciation refers to this word when you start filming something. Before, back in the 90s, we used to say, I'm videotaping you. You will hear some Americans still saying with their cell phone, I'm videotaping you. I'm videotaping you. <laughs> so no, not anymore. Okay, so that's recording. Record. Record. So again, record. record. Record, mm -hmm. record. Again, record, 
record, record. So you could say that record, oh, record is a noun and record is a verb. You got it? I got it, teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos, tell me, teacher, grabe eso. Teacher records that. <laughs> exactly. Teacher, record that. Record that. Okay. okay. There's another word. Talking about this topic. How do you pronounce this word? Everybody. Record. record in no, no, no. Look at, look at the chat. The Zoom chat one. On a question, a record. Mm -hmm. Assume one person and records a third person. Exactly. Yeah, it records. It records on eight K quality. It records on eight K quality. That's a good example. Third person. Okay. When you say it, yeah, the camera, right? The camera. So it records on eight K. Man, that's a very expensive camera. It records an AK. Uh huh. So, how do you read that word? R E S U M E. Resume. Resume. Okay. I'll type it like that. Resume. With a big M. Okay. Resume. Do we all agree? Resume. Oh, look at that. Resume. Resume. Isn't it resume? Resume, resume. 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 Hmm. Okay. It is both. Because it's both. like the example, the, the previous example, the previous. the previous example, it could be a noun and a verb. Which one is the noun, Nelson? The noun is the resume. It's okay. Uh, give me an example. Uh, you can use it resume like the curriculum. Exactly. Now give me an example of a sentence. Uh, I will send my resume to that company. Exactly. Another example, Nelson, with the word resume. Mm, I will resume you that book. <laughs> that's that's really odd, actually. But yeah, <laughs> you could use that uh, to to have this clearer because resume will be the verb in this example, right? Let's say you're watching a movie. Hey, resume the movie. Mm -hmm. So it was paused. The movie was paused. It was paused and they ask you to resume the movie. So you were watching the movie. Okay, let me pause. Okay, let me pause the movie. When you come back, hey, resume the movie. Let's continue. Instead of saying, hey, play it, play it. No, it's already playing. So resume. Got it? Okay, yes. cool. Cool, very good. Uh, for the ones with the camera off, please turn it on. Next example, sorry if I took too long, but I think that's important. Um, hmm, Jorge, who is next? Next? Uh, both mom and dad take care of me. Okay, yeah, totally, that's using nouns. Can you select someone else to give an example? Um, sorry, Susana Ortiz. Susie, Susana Ortiz. Yeah, especially if their camera is off. Susana Ortiz. Go ahead. Okay, so other example is about the video game. And dress game were entertained. Both video games and I'm sorry? Video game and dress game. Sure. Juego de mesa. 
How do you say college? Oh, 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 oh. Desk games, uh, table games. Ah, uh, table games. Table games. Mm, is there another way, guys, to say table games? It's too translated. Hmm. Uh, we're entertained. <laughs> we're ent entertained. Okay, another topic. We're entertaining. I'm going to write your example. I like it. So let's see. Can you repeat it both? Both the video game. Both. And video table game. Games and table game. Video game and table game. Uh huh. We're, We're entertaining. Both video game and table game were entertaining. Okay. Now, entertaining. Something was entertaining. Someone was entertaining. But you are entertain for example with the class i'm entertain correct that entertain i'm entertained with my english class okay but the english class is entertaining entertaining does this make sense does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, you got it? Okay, very good. The English class is entertaining. Good job, thank you very much. Just one more, Susanna, can you select one more classmate? Okay. Um, Claudia Melendez. Good evening. Teacher, I don't know what are you doing. What we're doing? You don't know what we're doing. Um, we are using. Look at the examples on, on the WhatsApp, okay? So you can understand. We are using both, n, which is both. the same topic for the last two days. Has been, um, correlative conjunctions, okay. right, guys? Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Yes. Correlative conjunctions, am I right? Yes. Okay, good. So two connectors together to come up with a phrase. So now we're using both N. Mm, okay. Yeah, but if so you, you, uh -huh. you need a sentence with both N. Uh -huh. Exactly, just make up a sentence using both N. Okay. Mm. I like both. I like to eat both uh, fish and shrimps. Okay, so you like seafood, very good. I like to eat <laughs> both fish and shrimp. Difficult word, very good. Okay, anybody else wants to share? Anybody else feels like, oh my God, I have to say this. I, I, I This was a great example. I can't believe I did this. No? No. Okay, cool. Let's continue. So as we speak, as we are speaking about professional development. Okay, this is on your page number nine. Okay, yesterday we had these two questions and we're talking about promoting professional development in a company to the tonight's topic for this session is that exactly um, negative effects negative effects on lack of programs for professional development. So I'll start just telling you, please pay attention. This is very important. I'm gonna start telling you about this a little bit. In the call center industry, and let me think about this. In El Salvador for the last 20, years, 20, no, wait, 19, 2000, 2000, 1998, 24 years, 20, 23, 24 years. 
um, there has been a program from InsaForb that actually does this. It trains this, what you're doing right now, is a program for professional development. Because you're developing, as Manuel said, I think yesterday, you are developing your skills, you're gaining, you're gaining more knowledge. Okay, be careful. Knowledge is not earned, is not, I don't know, won, you cannot win knowledge. Okay, you gain knowledge just the way you, you gain muscle. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, nah. Okay, you gain muscle by doing exercise, right? So, ah, you're gaining knowledge when you take this kind of courses to learn another language like today. So, without these programs in our country, let's talk about national companies. I have never, I have, I have never heard of a company that cares or invests. That's the word. I have never heard of a company which invests on their employees in terms, in terms of developing their professional um, life. Let's say. Okay, I heard that they develop skills, but skills that are necessary for the employee to do their job, for the employees to do their jobs. So that's different. That's different because you will only be able to work in companies like the one where you work right now. So with that being said, Si alguna vez notan que me equivoco con algo, ustedes que están más pendientes de la gramática, corríjanme, ¿ok? If I say something like, mm -hmm, es porque dudo, dudo a veces de mí mismo, ¿ok? So, check, double check it, double check it. With that being said, yeah, call centers. These are international companies. Um, let me think, let me think. Fruit of the Loom, I think, is an international company. What other companies do you know? Lines of business. Lines of business. Mm -hmm. Apple. Apple? Here in El Salvador? Yeah. Google. Yeah. Apple in El Salvador. Google in El Salvador? Mm, um, not yet. Maybe the call center. They, they, yeah, there's a call they, center. They have some accounts. Some accounts, true. But my point is this, Nelson. I mean, if you go to uh, to work at Telus and you get into the Google account, they will develop your skills, your abilities, so so you can work better you know, on customer service or technical support. Mm -hmm. But my point is, and, and this is a trend, this is a common thing on most call centers. They send you messages. I mean, they 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 hire, for example, the ESN. Do you know what is ESN, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they hire people like the ESN or InsaForb to um, go and deliver courses to give curses to their um, to their employees out of scope, out of scope. What what do I mean by out of scope? In English, I'm going to start challenging you, challenging you for you to give me terms with synonyms so out of scope that's something we used to call you know, when i when i work at dell dell computers i was a technician at dell and we used to say that on the notes this is oos 
out of scope. So out of scope means that is out of your boundaries. It's out of your boundaries. Boundaries. Yeah, it's out of your, your boundaries. You don't have the knowledge to address, to address that problem. Perdón, pero se me han venido un montón de palabras difíciles y las estoy ocupando. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Okay, to address, to address this problem. So, let's say, for example, I work as a technician, a computer's technician, and the company is paying me a 50% of a scholarship to be a doctor. A 50% of a scholarship to become one day a doctor. What do you think about this? Is this nice or is this negative? It's amazing. It's amazing. Yes, wait, 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 wait. Before you open your pie hole. <clears throat> I just said it, I can't believe it. Before you open your pie hole. You know, visto Ted, no me van a entender. What's your pie hole? Where is your pie hole? The mouth is offensive. No, it's not offensive. Pie hole. Yeah, it's offensive. No, no. Yes, it's Just translate it, really? Nah. Yeah. Shut your pie hole. Yeah. I love that phrase. It's but so it's offensive. No, no. I tell my kids. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't know your Shut kid. your pie hole. Really? Oh my God. Uh, I, I don't take it as an offensive phrase. But anyways, so what was I saying? <laughs> you got me lost. Wait. Don't worry, it's teacher. It's a joke. Don't worry. I know, I know, I know. Wait. I forgot the idea. So teacher, hey. I remember whole in Mr. Donuts. Mm -hmm. They sell a uh, whole. And Done maybe hole is a hole. Yes, that's my point. So the donut hole is so funny because my wife says those are not donut holes because the hole is on the donut. So that that doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> okay. So before you open your mouth, let me explain you something. Studying here in advanced one, studying on this module, you need to think as both a, a businessman, let's say a business owner, and, or let me do it this way, as both an employer, and employee. So change your mentality. Change your mind right now. You are both, both. So I want to see, I want to hear both points of view. Si siempre preguntan TikTok, ¿qué quiere decir POV? That's the meaning point of view what's your point of view from the perspective of as an employer or as an employee so i want to hear both manuel go ahead what do you think about giving a 50 discount on scholarships for careers that will not contribute the company they will actually help the employee to go out of the company uh, yes, teacher, uh, that sounds interesting because uh, as you can, as, as you told uh, us, uh, the, the career, it doesn't con contribute to, to gain the company. Uh, 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 thinking as uh, Employed employer, uh, I think 
is is a waste uh, of money. Yes, of money. Of time. Uh, money, time. Uh, Resources. Yes, uh, but for an employee is a, a good opportunity. I don't know if if I if I could take one opportunity like this. Uh, in my case, I I will give more for me for my company for this action teacher. This is my my opinion. <laughs> That's it. I'll take it. I'll do my best. Then you know you you went the other way around, and that that was great actually. So do you mean that you will feel motivated? Yes. To yes. to keep Full your to keep your job because and that's true. I mean, I mean, they give you opportunities for it. You know, to to get to keep you to keep you engaged, to keep you engaged, and that's very difficult in reality. Yes. To engage um, employees, engage employees with the mission, the vision, the values of the company is difficult. Yes. But there are exceptions because, for example. <laughs> my first call center job my first call center job it was an airline and i loved it i mean all the whole topic you know about airlines was so amazing for me i loved it i i, I and i just the developed so many skills that i things that i didn't know before and of course the environment you know it was amazing so if you love what you do and you may not even take the courses. But what do you think, guys? Somebody else. Thank you, Manuel. It was awesome. Somebody else. What do you think about? Is there something negative on offering this type of programs? I think that me as an employer, if I could find a way to deduct those expense of those charge of my taxes i definitely do it uh, um, <laughs> and in the in a point of view of an employee uh, i think that every every single person that will be uh, have the skills to work in that company will be interested to to apply for a position because uh, in the time or meanwhile you are working there you have the time and the opportunities to uh, to study some something that you will uh, use it to follow your dreams in a future in the future, mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. give me just a second Sorry, guys. Night. Sorry. One of my kids came and said good night. Okay. One thing, uh, Nelson, from the employee perspective, from the employer perspective, from someone else's perspective, um, I'm just giving you phrases. And I'm sorry, this is not my point of view. This is someone else's point of view. Um, I love this point of view. I like this, I love this perspective, this way of thinking. Do you see? Now remember, there's different ways of saying things. The point is not don't stop, don't stop talking. And that's a way of doing it, just finding some other way of saying things. Okay, great job. Yep. Um, is a similar um, at my job. Uh, uh, one time, one time, um, one time, um, propose um, buy a laptop for every single 
uh, person, but you need pay 50% the laptop. And two years, the laptop is your two or three years. And the people don't want. People didn't want to. People didn't want to. Um, because this re resource is for the company, not for the employee. Because you need pay. But this laptop, your job in your house. <laughs> no, nothing. Nadie <laughs> quiso. Really? Yes. I just sent you something, Marilena. You were trying to say once. Once someone told me this, this, and that. Once, una vez. Mm -hmm. um, but look at that. Once upon a time, it was una vez. Once upon a time, there was a little red riding hood in the woods, and so on. Okay. Hmm. How do you say pago in cuotas, guys? Or just the word quotas. Quota. Huh. Because I always tend to forget this. This it's yeah, it's a monthly payment. What am I thinking? A monthly payment, a down payment, monthly payment, the mortgage. Okay. So yeah, they were doing two years monthly payments, you know, and nobody wanted to do that. So it, what was the benefit, right? Makes sense. And the company doesn't want, and, and this is very typical. I don't know, raise your hand. Who had difficulties subscribing to this English course? Did you have any difficulties from re human resources? Saying, oh my God, yes. really? Nah. What did they say? Did they tell you, did they demotivate you? Say no, you're mm, not gonna. Attend. I had to wait like a month to uh, they reach all the information uh, or the planilla. I, I I have to uh, to be pushy like two weeks, and I and the in at the end the yeah. lady I think that in the end the, in the, the end, doesn't even matter. <laughs> The, 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 the lady of human resources, I think that get mad at me because I was too pushy uh, and every day I was writing her to, to tell what happened with all my papers. I need them. They are asking me for them. It was kind of difficult to find all the information. <laughs> Good job, Nelson. Hey, she got upset. She got upset. She got upset. Yeah, she got upset. She got upset. You said something else and I didn't write it. So hey, yeah. She got mad. She got mad. She got mad. Very good. Another second, please. I'm sorry. Sorry. If you're not a parent yet, if you don't have kids, you won't get me, but I'm paying everything with my middle one. I have three kids, right? So I have Christopher Alexander, he's 13, Xavier Francisco, or Javier, Xavier Francisco, and Julia Beatriz. So, oh, oh, and Xavier is 10 years old. The little baby is Julia Beatriz, she's seven years old. So I'm paying everything with Xavier because he's just like me. He's very hyper and he has to be doing something. And before going to bed, he has to listen to music to fall asleep. The problem is that he has taken my playlist. He's listening to my music. Shall I get concerned? Because he's listening to Metallica, to ACDC, of course, soft rock. Um, 
Alice in Chain. I don't know if you remember Alice in Chain. That was, I mean, soft rock, and he's his ghost. Well, at least he listens to um. How do you call this? Hold on. Tears for Fears. He's listening to Tears for Fears to fall asleep. I think it's good because that's my way of introducing English. That's a good way of introducing English in your life. So if you love listening to music, ask me if you want some ballads to go to bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So moving on, moving on. Yeah. I mean, isn't it funny? Companies always go like, no, nah, you're not even going to the classes. Why, why should we pay from our money? And this is a mistake. Remember that you're paying Seguro Social, right? So there is a 1% that goes for you, for your education. And here you are. In my case, teacher, they, the human resource sent to us an email to all of the, the co-workers can share in that kind of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I... I suppose many of them, they are studying English for work. Awesome. Awesome. And that, that's very important to motivate others. And that's the key, you know, companies should look at the pros more than the cons. The pros meaning the good part instead of the consequences of doing something. So... We're going to read a little bit just for 12, 15 minutes. We're going to read an excerpt. Now, I want you to be very conscious, let's say, with... Um, I want you to discriminate, to discriminate what I'm going to send you right now to your WhatsApp. No podemos compartir esto en la pantalla cuando estén en grupos pequeños. ¿Ok? Porque en eso llego yo y pues va a salir la imagen y nos van a banear el video. So, it's an excerpt that I found about eight companies with awesome training and development programs. I mean, they have good training programs. Today's topic is the negative. What happens if you don't have any program, if you don't have training programs in your company? Um, let's hear it from somebody. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Somebody who doesn't have any, any kind of development program in their company? Me, teacher. Really, Manuel, you don't have yeah. any? Never. <laughs> Either. In, so other than in, this, in other than this. Yes, yes. In this company, 13 years working for the same company. Doing the same? Yes, doing the same. And how do you feel? Uh, teacher, uh, in, in some opportunities, uh, I, I have... I have talked with my boss in, in the in charge of HR and, and I, I I make emphasize about training, but uh, yesterday I I said that I always and every single day I I am self-motivation to to make my to make my, my to do my work. Because the the same thing, the same work, uh, just uh, change is uh, sometimes uh, we have a new a new client or customer. This is the uh, that is the the, the difference. Mm -hmm. But I uh, for sure uh, I remember I I share. Uh, this experience uh, we in other class for sure about my uh, my uh, my big beginnings uh, in the in the English class. Your beginnings, uh huh. Yeah, yes, my, my beginning. Uh, for example, uh, I I was interest, uh, interested interested uh, about 
about uh, English for, for what? about this problem, this problem, the, uh -huh. this this program, and I I, I asked for 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 the uh, opportunity, the opportunity, and I I I request requested for my I requested for uh, for the person, uh, and she literally. She told me, no, that's, uh, that's English is not for you. Really, teacher, really? That's discrimination. It was, it was past uh, two years when I, when I beginning this program. When you began, when you began the course. Yes, yes. And out of, I'm sure out of others, you are the only one on your company still and This continuing. is in, the, the, in this company, but in others, in other in my previous uh, job job for sure i i was uh, i don't know i i, I forgot the, the 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 word i mean uh, um a menos por lo menos at produce, least at least thank you teacher mm -hmm. yeah at least one one training oh okay in my previous job yeah but thank you this, thank you you know i i, I yeah. I have met people working on the same company for 20 years doing the same thing. In my area, yes. But then, no, I'm saying in general, I I, I worked at Multicinema Reforma. You know Multicinema Reforma? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I worked there for two years. And there was this guy. I used to clean. I used to cook. Okay. So this other guy. He he used to be in the he used to be selling tickets, you know, in the office with air conditioning and everything. Yes. So he used to brag. You know what is bragging? Yeah, he used to brag. Oh, I'm I'm in the office. You know, I'm selling tickets the whole day, sitting on the computer, and you're cleaning the whole day, the bathrooms and everything. I was like, this guy, right? I used to speak English with the clients of, of the cinema. And my boss used to go like, where's Rafa? Where's Rafa? Hey, hey, there's a gringo asking for help. And I was like, okay. It was funny. I mean, I couldn't speak very well in 2001. Yes. The funny thing is that I, like six months ago or something or a year ago, I went back with my kids in my car and he's still sitting there. I'm like, Okay, so sad because he's still sitting there. He's fatter, he's fatter and, and you know, still selling tickets. So I was like, hey, what's up? He was like, uh, hello. <laughs> so. Very heavy. <laughs> yeah, he's very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me send you the link guys so you can read. And I want you to choose one topic per group discriminate as much as you want just read the topic and because you are going to explain to the class okay number one if it is an amazing course an amazing program an amazing training and if it could be implemented here in el salvador okay if you say no, no, this training cannot be implemented in El Salvador because of this and that. That's it. You got it? Si me entendieron todo lo que vamos a hacer? Yeah? No? Mm. Ok, super rápido. Son ocho temas que van en el link. Y lo único que tienen que hacer es, en grupos, elegir uno por grupo. Y explicarlo en la... Brevemente, eh, explicarlo in your own words eso es muy importante en esa clase no necesito que me relean todo lo que está ahí, ¿qué entendiste? nada más, esto y esto habla de training, ok y uh, en El Salvador no se podría aplicar porque las empresas aquí de manera general en las que yo he estado son así, así, así that's it y sí ok let me recreate the teams we're just going to do four instead. There we go. Okay. Nobody stays here. Let's do it. 
You've got 15 minutes, you can do it. Wendy, let's go. Program offer. Why the company offer this perk? What kind of employee this company is looking for? We have to choose one company first. To SAS. SAS. Amazon. Amazon. Uh, AT&T, Ramstad, US, Paychex, Snyder Electric, and Marriott International Inc. Right, uh, this is uh, are the six company and each company is, uh, yes, each company have, have different. Which company we choose? Um, <laughs> no, uh, I, I choose AT&T, but, uh, I I don't. AT and T. Okay. I don't. I don't know the the program and the training. Or Amazon. Choose a topic involved, lastly. I guess, Tell I the guess plans. at and t Okay. Can, can, can't uh, develop it in, in Saba because I read the program offer. Um, mm -hmm. He used... Uh, at and t uh, Yeah. Okay. A high power of technology. For example, I, I was reading... Um, the use of satellite, satellite, satellite across the USA. Mm, I don't know if he's oh, saying. Oh, that sounds all right. I don't know if, if any about any enterprise in, in any enterprise in the suburb have the technology of the yes of really. connection to to. To improve, improve that. Maybe yes, you know. and, and I, I, I am seeing AT&T help to create the first ever online master of science in computer science. It's a degree and partner. I think that, that when it says satellite campuses, it's mean that it's the, the university. It's it's a virtual university. Because, uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, because it says uh, they created an um, online masters, so uh, all the employees can study uh, uh, from home. Something like that. Yes, it's a 
this is a a, a good uh, program. Um, uh, in El Salvador, uh, I consider maybe the, there are uh, some company uh, that yes uh, have have a, have a problem a program to uh, for the for the employees but that with the uh, being uh, uh, I don't know resource and they invest for this opportunity but I consider There, there is, there is at least <laughs> one company, but uh, why the company offers this pack? I'm seeing we can depend on just hiring and- I have to the numbers. <laughs> okay, I will, I will continue. Okay. Program, program, programs offered. Marriott International offers a variety of training to employees worldwide using multiple training delivery methods, including virtual and in person. The training focuses on developing skills and provides professional and career development training. Topic areas include work-life balance, Leadership and management. Why the company offered this perk? Marriott International offer our associate training because we, we believe in the well being, being and growth of each and every one, says Armin Sorensen. President and CEO, Mario International. And what kind of employee the company is looking for? When I look into to hire, I look for someone with passion, say Sorenson. We can train to, to work at the front desk, but we can train we can train you uh, to be empathic or to smile. Uh, find Mario uh, jobs on master. Um, take your next career development step. Um, it's critical to work for a company that's invested in your development. When you look good, they look good. Are you looking for an employees you can really grow with, but aren't sure where to begin? Join Monster for free today as a member. I think this is not part of the article of Marriott. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, to read that. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, what do you think about this article? Mm. Uh, well, well, in my case, I think that here in El Salvador, uh, the most of the company are small com are small companies, so um, they can apply this kind of training. And because uh, here in El Salvador we have a lot of familiar companies and. This one are are the worst because they don't want to invest in the in their employees. Uh, as I we we read this paragraph, um, the the Marriott Hotel um, training the people. Uh, for example, work work life balance. Uh, 
Uh, and here in El Salvador, I think, <laughs> it's my opinion. Yeah. They, it, they, it's not. It's, for me, <laughs> it's, it's not um, they, they cannot apply this method because they, they just want money, 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 money. Yes. It's yeah. my opinion. And what about you? <laughs> I I really think they're very similar as as your as your opinion because I think in this country so so if we talk about the Salvador and the majority of of companies for this a uh, country are very um I don't know how do you say it's like a maquilas. I I think we don't have a good environment in the majority of the companies. Um, so we we didn't we don't have uh specific um programs for training the people. In my company, we don't have a lot of trainings for the new people, and I think we need to to practice these mythos, mythos. Okay. And you, Maria Elena? I am agree with uh, your, um, because many companies are, I don't know, what do you say? Explotan <laughs> on our employee. And um, maybe the fear part, um, I am, I am remember Pizza Hut and their employees, and they always smile and are good. I feel good uh, when I go to the Pizza Hut. But it's no in all companies or in all uh, restaurants. Mm -hmm. okay. And what do you think, Susana? In my opinion, it's uh, to them while they are getting their job done. Yes, uh, actually, I just remember or recognize Amazon like a platform to, to buy something, but I imagine they are a call center too, and they uh, give to the customers some, I don't know, support. Yes, yeah, because even there, it said that it, they train the people for work from home. So uh -huh, it's like prepare them to give and support to the people for working at home. <laughs> about about the the stuff that that they they sell. <laughs> yes. I think also that the the program that they offer train the the people before than hire them i guess it's also in order to they assure that these people to be hired uh will uh, get all the the knowledge about the, the company in order to give a uh, or do a proper or do the, the things correct because yes. if, if you doesn't know uh what is the what the company does or what you have to do and you be hired I guess they will spend a lot of time, a lot of valuable time, 
training you, during you uh, to have to be working. So they assure that you will be hired with the uh, proper knowledge that, that they require to do the job. Yes. I guess more than than uh, a, a benefit for the employee is, it is for also, the company. It's also for the company, yeah. It is better yeah. if we if we know what they do. Actually, I I just remember Amazon like the platform, but once upon yes. a time I I wear I was in, in the US in, in LA and, and I saw uh, a lot of big facilities of Amazon. And I imagine they, they store a lot of things that they sell maybe, but I don't know what exactly they, they do. Okay, let's search. But in, in that paragraph or topic, I I understand they they give to the customer some support to fix something or give some information. Yes, um, I mean the 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 topic we chose, it's about like a benefit that Amazon gives to the employees. Um, is what Mario was saying. That, sorry, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that before they hire the people, uh, they train they they training them. So in that way, they can assure that they are going to hire people ready for, for the job. Um, Amazon could be a call center too, or is a call center? It's not a call center, but it has like a part I, of a high. But I, I, I guess they have a, a kind of a call center uh -huh. uh, for a them. A customer service, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I guess it's, it's like a, a call company that have a, a customer service a support. So they have this kind of job. Mm -hmm. Some people. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so I the, think there's like a lot of work, like the people yeah. who sales, the Okay, so let's see. Let's see who comes last. Hmm, I think it's gonna be room number one, group number one. Dun, 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 Pretty woman. Okay. So in group number one, I have Juan Carlos, Manuel, Mario, and Nelson. Tell us, guys, about your topic. Let me open the topics and see what topic number is it. 
and what is there to say about it? We choose the uh, number eight, Marriott International. We chose. Mm -hmm. We chose. Number eight. Okay, Marriott International Incorporated. You're on, <laughs> you're on, Nelson. Okay, uh, with this company, we review that they have very good uh, training program around the world uh, to all their employees worldwide and the topics of the training are focused or or the trainings are focuses in several uh, topics for example a uh, they try to uh, improve their skills like customer skill or professional skills also uh, try to uh, develop in the world life balance, the leadership and management. So uh, we think that it could be applied to El Salvador because um, the two uh, the trainings are are virtual virtual trainings. So we can uh, we can apply it to our country. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, and also it, it will help to uh, to improve all the employees skills not only for that position but uh, they can reach some better uh, position job position in the in the future mm -hmm. And okay, that's... so we can implement this. Actually, they, they are implementing it. Um, this company that I'm working for, this call center, they trained me um, like that remotely. I just went to the offices in 2020 on September <laughs> just, just to pick up my, my PC. Mm -hmm. I just went there once in 2020. <laughs> well 2021 christmas i spent it there on christmas but the thing is that they train me remotely and i don't know i don't know my boss i don't know anybody physically you know just through videos and that's it yeah <clears throat> so they're implementing it um is there any negative effect of not doing this? What what could happen if Marriott wouldn't implement these trainings? We think that it will be uh, several bad effects to not uh, uh, to not train uh, the employees due to uh, the company. It's about hotels and customer service, and they have to be. Uh, ready to to side uh, different kind of people or to face different kind of people like angry, person, angry customers uh -huh. angry customers or whatever uh, issue they could have in the, every single day so they have to be prepared for those those situations and that's why it's very important to be well trained everybody i got you thank you very much one plus four nelson that was awesome thank you uh the second group carlos christia maria or susana anybody tell us what topic number did you chose did you choose so easy we choose the same <laughs> number eight really Yes. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Would you like to add something else? Um, maybe about um, in in our country, it maybe don't can ap apply this method. 
because mm -hmm. um, the topic areas that speak in the article um, and balance <laughs> were like. And this point, uh, we we believe um, our companies don't. Um, I don't know how do you say don't no no lo ven no lo visualizan they don't see it they don't see it they don't foresee those events okay totally um <laughs> there is something very important for human beings for employees for employers companies hey. in general and it's something that many times you know they don't think about it um their image their image and there is nothing more powerful in my experience there is nothing more, more powerful than mouth to mouth publicity mouth to mouth publicity is dangerous or very useful because if you're doing things wrong if you're doing something wrong like they like this not training your employees uh oh nobody will want to work with you okay they just don't they just want work with you um there are call centers that have a lot of difficulties um getting employees there was a call center that was very famous for hiring uh deportees you know deportees people from the states coming back and it was crowded. Oh, it was crowded of, of homies. You know, if you don't know what is a homie, Google it. Okay. It was crowded. But one day, the company just closed. They left. They couldn't afford not having other employees, I guess. I don't know. It was really, really weird and difficult to see many people unemployed you know and not being able to get a job because someone who is deportee from the states in call centers most likely they will say no because they have records they have records they have background and on call centers they 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 do you a, a background check they do a background check on you if you don't know what is that google it okay one more person and we're done Next person only has two minutes to explain a different one. Who did AT and T? Who did AT and T? Nobody read AT and T. What about Amazon? <gasps> Who read Amazon? Nobody really okay. Okay, yeah, good. Third group teacher. Mario, okay, good. Diana, do you want to talk? Talk. Yeah, Diana or only Mario, go ahead. Both. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, we spoke about Amazon. We read that they offer an intensive uh month training before to hire uh, to be hired or or in order to be hired mm -hmm. uh, they provide you a, a month to, to be trained hey. and but I, I uh I said or what I actually see on this is it's not a benefit for the employee, but it's for the employers, for the company, because they, with this training, they assure that you will do the things uh, right or do, do the things like they request. They teach you to, uh, or maybe all the process and everything. And they, with this, they are sure that you will give uh, the quality that they want 
and another benefit that uh, I saw is that they pay, they prepay the 95% of uh, tuition uh, for courses that, uh, but courses that indeed are like, uh, say, relacionados. Not related? Yeah, it's, it's related with the, with the company, with the job that the, or the thing that the company offers. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the positive thing that I saw, the, the tuition, and also the, the, the training, but the training is, is more for the company, but, but for the employees. Then it is for the employees, okay. Okay, I like that, very good. Great job. Uh, well, before we go, guys, I just want to clarify some things. Y lo voy a hacer en español porque quiero que quede grabado para que ustedes regresen quien tenga dificultad con esto. Um, el uso de agree o disagree. Ok. I agree. That's it. No voy a agregar el verbo to be. Porque es un error bien común, no se preocupen. I am agree. No. Seguimos traduciendo el español en inglés. No, entonces I agree. Y ahí está diciendo yo estoy de acuerdo. Ok. I agree. Para decir yo no estoy de acuerdo, voy a ocupar I disagree. I disagree with you. I disagree with that. Okay. So just be careful with that. Um, okay, pronunciation. We have hired, 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 hired. Esa R, siempre que una R está mezclada en medio de una palabra, la lengua se va a hacer hasta atrás. Y los demás sonidos vocales se van a producir mientras soltas la lengua. So, hired, 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 hired. Ok, contratado, ¿no? El estrés de la palabra empleado en inglés va en las últimas dos E. Employee, employee, I'm an employee. I'm an employee. My employees, is, my employees tell me, okay? And that's it, okay? The training is for one month. The training lasts one month. Training lasts one month. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance. And tonight I'm staying with, if possible, Cristia Natalia Razo Rogel. Or, please stay with or were we together last time no 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 this is our first time so Cristia, please stay for 10 minutes with me okay okay thank you so carlos alfredo palomo pineda present good night good night claudia maria melende santos okay christian natalie eraso rogel Present. Okay, not good night. Diana Elizabeth Cherejino Martinez. Otra vez, otra vez. Cherejino. Cherejino, Cherejino, no se me olvida. In fact, good night. Ahí está. Hoy sí. Mañana lo digo súper bien. Okay. Diego Armando López Rivas. I'm here. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night, everybody. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present and good night. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Same to you. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present and sweet dreams, teacher. Sweet dreams, Maria, I mean, Mario Ernesto Villeda. Sorry. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Take care. Mario Jose Valle Casaneda. Here. Good night. Good night. Nelson Rene Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. 
Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher, good night, blessings. Good night, blessings. Okay, Christia. Hello. Okay, Christia, tell me about your experience with English. How long have you been trying to learn English? Okay, and more important, two things. What are you doing to improve your English after the class? And what do you think is, is the most difficult thing for you? Okay, um, I want to start the what is the more difficult for me. <laughs> and I think it is to order my ideas. So uh, I think that all of the skills, the uh, speaking is difficult for me because I I try to translate on my mind. And, and I don't know, for me it's difficult. And I forgot uh, some words. And that song that I I don't I don't know English, but I I know that I I'm not so bad in in the language. I I think um um well about my my studies my my journey I, I don't know my journey of the of the language and uh, I studied when when I was a, a, when I was a child. And then I studied in the university. So I have them um, uh, in my work. I use the English all days, all every single day. My, my, in, my I work okay. with. Wait, I use English every day. I use English every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, because I have with uh, American people, with the USA. And, and, I I need to write emails every day. I need to talk with them, but I just use the technical uh, English. So mm. for me, it's easier, yes, because I, I just use the, the technical English. Mm -hmm. And when I try to have a, a conversation, a typical conversation, I think uh, the, the thing starts difficult for me. I don't know why. You type emails. I type email. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. You text. You text people. I text. I text the people. Uh, no, not the people. Be careful with the. In general, I text people. I text. I text, people. I text through WhatsApp, for example. I text through WhatsApp. I text. I text my wife every day. I text my boss very often. I type emails and that's it. Okay, good. So difficulty for you ordering ideas. Okay. So para hacer eso, vamos a aplicar la técnica que les envié ayer. No sé si vio un link que se llama Just a Minute. Um, sí, lo medio lo pude ver. Pues hay que verlo, ahí él describe unos pasos, cómo hacer paso a paso, póngale su título a ese video. Entonces, okay. es bien sencillo, a ver, eh, y es un ejercicio que le va a servir para toda la vida, o sea, no solo ahorita. Empiece haciéndolo en español. Uh -huh. A ver, intentémoslo. ¿Lista? Hábleme de rocas, 30 segundos, ¿ok? Uno, dos, tres, rocas. Okay. Rocas, stones. Uh, sí, pero en español, las rocas. Ah, uh, uh, uy, jole. Uh, las rocas son duras. <ríe> eh, encuentro rocas cuando voy a la montaña, puedo tener accidentes con las rocas, me puedo tropezar, eh, puedo utilizar una roca para poder abrir algo, no sé, cuando yo voy a acampar. Eh, puedo utilizar también una roca como un medio de de escribir algo en el piso y jugar peregrina con los niños, algo así. Uh -huh. mm, 
puedo utilizar las rocas también para jugar y poner rocas chiquititas y contar, utilizar números. Excelente. Mm -hmm. Ok. Tantas cosas que decir. Las formas, los usos, los colores, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Eh, todo eso. Y ahí se puede basar. Ahora ya agarré la idea. Now let's try in English. Same topic. T tell me about rocks. You have 30 seconds. Go. Uh, I I can't use I can use the rock, the stones uh, for play with the child. Uh, I can I can I found I found stones when I walk in the mountain. Uh, I I like to watch the stone. <laughs> uh, I I don't know I don't know. Um, I can use the stones uh, to write something in the floor. The okay, floor. bien. ¿Por qué me trago? Eh, bueno, hay que hablar de perspectivas, ¿no? Yo estoy hablando sobre mí. Yo hago esto, yo las piedras, yo las piedras, yo las piedras, yo las piedras. Hay dos, tres maneras de hacerlo. Esa es una. La segunda podría ser hablar de las rocas directamente como un objeto. Las rocas son así, las rocas tal cosa. Y la última, que es desde la perspectiva de terceros, y decir, hacerte caso que estás hablando con alguien, que estás en una ponencia, y eso es muy útil, de hecho. Muy, muy útil. ¿Sabían que las rocas son no solo grises, sino que hay muchos colores, y de hecho hay muchas rocas que las rompes, y adentro tienen muchos colores? Eh, Podrías decir, tanta cosa, ¿no? Se convierte en arena. ¿Sabían que venden piedras hoy en día, solo les hacen un dibujo y ya está. ¿Sabían que hay un hombre que se hizo millonario vendiendo piedras en Amazon? Es cierto, uh -huh. como mascotas. Entonces, uh -huh. <ríe> a ver, si ¿sí funciona, funciona, porque estás llamando, rellamando información. Una tarea, una, pared, una bonita tarea para el fin de semana, si no la ha visto, hay una película con Robert De Niro y... Ay, se me olvida el nombre de este tipo. Te aseguro que le va a gustar. A las mujeres les encanta este tipo y no me acuerdo cómo es que se llama. Pero uh -huh. se llama la película Limitless. Sin límite. Ya. Yeah. Ok. ¿Sí? No, no es bueno, pero. Bueno, uh -huh. pero es buenísima. Sin límite. Salió hace como tres años más o menos, 2020 creo que es. Um, y pues este chico es un loser por completo, dice él que es escritor y nada que ver. Y descubre una pastilla milagrosa para que lo único que hace es eso, rellamar la información que uno ya tiene en el cerebro. Desde la infancia, o sea, toda la información disponible para su uso. Man, y entonces, o sea, es súper emocionante la película, la verdad. Pero hay que entenderla. Esas películas que la tiene que ver bien para... Entenderle el final. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero sí, lo vamos a entender al filo. Y el punto es ese, de, que uno tiene la información ahí. ¿Cómo se dice? Cochera in ingle, en inglés. Um, garage. Garage, ok. ¿Cómo se dice emparedado en inglés? Sandwich. Y así, ¿no? Tenemos tantos anglosajismos ya de por sí. Entonces es lo más fácil rellamar información, pero lo que acabamos de hacer ese ejercicio es ayudarle al cerebro a que rellame información en español primero y después lo que ya mencioné lo va a volver a repetir. Entonces le invito a que cuando vaya solo en su carro o como sea, haga eso, haga que usted una ponencia, invéntese un tema, hable sobre maquillaje, yo no sé, sobre lentes, lo que sea, sobre tintes, ¿sí? ¿Y qué tantas palabras puedo decir de lo que dije en inglés? Lo más importante grávese. Una vez usted oh. sienta confianza, y hasta le va a ayudar en sobremanera. Una vez sienta confianza, se graba con el teléfono, ya en inglés, y pum. Siguiente paso, ponerme audífonos. ¿Qué dije? Ay, qué chivo me sale esa palabra, pues chica. Bien. <risa> <risa> Eso va a ser la primera, no, la primera reacción es, y esa es mi voz. Uy. Uh -huh. Horrible. Es algo real. No, no, no tiene la voz que uno piensa que tiene, por si no lo sabías. Ah, okay. Bueno, ha sido un verdadero placer que se estoy a sus órdenes y si necesita cualquier cosa, escríbame, ¿ok?
Muchas gracias. Buenas okay. noches. Good night. Bye bye.